All right, guys. Well, surprise, surprise. The Forge Warden has delivered. After it was on hold yesterday and supposed to be here tomorrow, it was out for delivery when I got when I left work. So that is the camera grip. It's a shutter button, and this should be the MagSafe. Um, so the packaging, I'm going to say, is uh, very green. <laughs> Oh, okay, get another little piece. So yeah, that's the MagSafe. Hmm. That's a piece of plastic. All right, let's pull the iPhone out here and see what she does. I get this guy here is adjustable. It needs tightened. That's like a thumb rest. Hmm, this could be interesting. This could actually be interesting. And, I, and the reason I went with this design, boy, I don't know. Someone did mention the MagSafe on it was not the best. And I think they're right. I mean, it, it's holding. But it does wiggle. I mean, you can, you're supposed to be able to do landscape or portrait shots. Same with the, the shift cam. So, yes, now I have another device that I can... And it does have a quarter 20. I don't know how much I'd trust that that uh, i guess i guess we'll, we're gonna try it at the park we're gonna go and get tim's screwdriver kit out here quick he got me for christmas for the vision center and i told him i said yeah it's coming in handy this guy here i mean i've got tweezers i've got i don't know what that really is like a little pick type thing but you've got bits for days it was funny because none of the girls in the Vision Center would use it because they didn't know how to get the handle out. Ta-da! So I need a little Phillips head. Those look really small. This thing does come in handy. for Because it's basically for, I think it's listed for electronics, but it works with glasses too. Gives you all the different ones. Yeah, this piece here is adjustable for the different size phones. So. Oh, that's not a Phillips. That's actually like a star. Whoops. There's a cold shoe that goes on there too, I think. But I don't even know if I need that. All right. So that's the mount. Pretty sure this is the cold shoe. Oh, no. That's a screwdriver with extra screws. Nice. Nice. And, yeah, cold shoe. You can put on it. Oh, that's probably what that's for. To, mm, I don't know how they... I don't know where that would screw in at. Oh, that just slides into here. Yeah, it's kind of unusual. That just slides into there. But they do give you extra screws for the thumb holder. That's... You know what? That's going to give you a pretty decent tread. But yeah, that doesn't need to be on there. I didn't put the cold shoe on the um, shift cam either. And lock that down better here in a minute. All right, let's get to the main event here. <clears throat> get out my new... These are the turbo ones. I don't even know if I showed them. These guys are nice. And those carbon blades, oh my god. If you're gonna... If you're looking for a long-lasting blade, fast cars, carbon ones, those carbon-tipped, oh, those things stay sharp. You can cut freaking thick boxes with them. Again, the packaging is very green. Oh, I'll have to see if I can get connected. Because the one thing I did see was I was looking to see if this was like a fraud. Because it hadn't shipped and hadn't shipped. And uh, people were like, it takes forever for it to ship. No customer support. Now, I can say that they have responded to me every time I asked them a question. So that's basically, wow, that is tiny. That is so tiny. But you you have zoom levers with the app. You can also switch it over to like ISO and whatnot. You got different buttons. And you got zoom lever. That's the zoom lever. And these are like for your ISO. So I can actually do zoom shots with the app as, as supposed to. And this kind of can flex too. I think it can be used as a kickstand or something. And it locks into the back plate I just pulled. All right, let's 
pull that out so the battery is on. That thing is tiny. My goodness, that's so tiny. Yeah, people are like, the cases, don't buy the cases. The cases are junk. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Okay, push the button. And, uh, um, boy, I don't know. I'm a little concerned with the, but it, it, I mean, it's easy enough to take off your phone and then you want to, you know, you want to do something. You can, you know, with the MagSafe, you can just pop it back on quick. All right. Now, one of the other issues people were saying they had problems with was getting it to connect to their phone. Of course, some people don't understand what they're doing, too. Settings, Bluetooth for Jordan. And then pairing unsuccessful. Make sure the grip is turned on and in range and ready to pair. Um, well, it saw it, so how is it not on? I don't even know if there's any LEDs on this thing. There was one when I pulled it out, pulled the thing out of the battery. Is it seeing it now? Nope. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, there it is. Showing up for Jordan at the bottom. Oh boy. All right, give me a minute. So while I'm waiting on that, that is actually a plate that you can use on like an Android phone, but they don't make an Android app. And I'm not sure what this thing is. I'm not really sure what that's for. There's really no instructions in there. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use the app to connect it, maybe. Maybe that's what I need to do. Sometimes you have to use the app. So let's try the For Jordan app. See if it sees it. Get started. For Jordan camera app is advanced. Da, 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 da. Go through the photo library camera. Continue. Connect to my For Jordan. Allow For Jordan Bluetooth devices. Allow. Oh, that might be why. Uh, enter serial number. Identify your grip. Hmm. Ta-da. That's what we weren't doing. Press and hold the shutter button and function button for five seconds. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. took me to their website plus pair got it your grip is ready to shoot and yes we're going to register it well that gives you a little tip guys if you're ever having trouble connecting a device Um, and if that device has an app, sometimes it's required to use that. And now I have the for Jordan app. Yeah, that's really weird though. You can't use that app without the grip. So I should be able to zoom and I can. Oh. We'll have to wait and does this do video? I don't know if it does video though. Enable embed location, mirror front camera, new no. format and quality, 48 megapixel, pro raw, smart processing manual mode, high. Zoom in manual mode, shutter half press. Pressing on screen shutter will lock the focus and exposure release will capture the photo. Okay. Level indicator. Hmm. A lot of little things in there. 
That is for sure. So, I guess that's... I thought... Hmm. Yeah, there's... Allow full access. Open settings. Jordan, full access. Location while using. Yes. Okay, let's just go into the native camera once. And... It works. Does the zoom work? Nope. Of course it doesn't. That would be nice. That would be nice if that would actually work. All right, come back in. So there's the the Leica Lux and the For Jordan app that they came out with. Now this kind of ticked me off because there's a this works really nice, but you have to pay for most of the modes. I think I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Oh, I can actually change my aperture now. Interesting. Yeah, see, there's still pro modes. And if to upgrade to pro, it's a two weeks free, $70 a year. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. All right. Well, we're going to play with this a little bit at the park, too, probably. Looks like it's only going to work, though, um, for photo in that app. I thought I did video as well, but I'll have to look and see.